We received a lot of solid donations this week. All of the proceeds from these items go to local nonprofits and good causes. With that, let's see what we got. First up is a PS2 Slim in the original box. The box is in really good shape for being 20 years old. It has the original manual and manual disc completely unopened, which is pretty neat. The console itself is in pretty good shape. It's also really small compared to consoles today. The back of the box lists items that are sold separately, and we actually have a multi-tap from a previous bin of donations that we will group in with this one. This allows you to play multiplayer games with three to four players instead of just two. I also wanted to show the size comparison of the fat versus slim. They were able to cut out a lot of chunk with the slim. It came with a third party controller as well. We will bundle this all together and bid it at $60 for the lot. Next, we got a couple of Xbox One games. We generally list these for about six bucks each. An Afterglow gaming headset in good shape. We will list this for six bucks. Off-brand bone conduction headphones that seem to be barely used, if at all. These will go for five dollars. An older but less used Turtle Beach gaming headset, we'll say six dollars. A couple of empty Xbox 360 game cases. Unfortunately, without the games, these are pretty much garbage. Halo 3, Madden 12, and Modern Warfare 2 for the 360. We'll hold on to these for a future Xbox 360 bundle. Two first party Xbox 360 controllers. The white one is in decent shape, but the black one is heavily used and modified. Not sure if we will be able to sell the black one. Four new tile trackers. These are kind of cheap knockoff air tags. We will price these at $10. Disney VHS tapes. These surprisingly will sell to collectors and we usually price them for about $4 a piece. Nintendo 64 with the AV and power cords. It doesn't have any controllers or games, but it does turn on and we'll list it for $40. The original Xbox console. It seems to be in pretty good shape and it also has two first party controllers that are in good shape. And a bunch of games. Have you played any of these before? Next we got a PS1 that has a third party controller with it. The open button sticks and has to be jiggled around to pop out and enable the lid to shut. We will bid both the Xbox and PS1 together with all they came with for $40. Next we have an older iPod. This looks to be a 6th gen but we couldn't get it to power on. We will charge it up and see if we can get it to work properly, otherwise we won't be able to sell it. Lastly we have an iPad mini 2. This is not iCloud locked and ready to go. It does have a small crack and dent in the bottom right corner, so for that we'll probably list it for $20 and see if it sells. Let us know if you like this video by giving us a thumbs up and dropping a comment. We might make this a weekly or bi-weekly series if there's enough interest, so subscribe. Thanks for watching and we hope to tech out with you in the next one.